Welcome to today's episode of Mafia Tales, The Billionaire Chronicles. We're diving into the intriguing story of Remy Stone in My Poor Husband is a Billionaire Mafia. This tale is packed with drama, power struggles, and a quest for redemption that you won't want to miss. Let's get started. In the bustling city of ambition, an international airport is surrounded by hundreds of black-suited bodyguards, creating a commotion that passengers are keen to avoid. Unbeknownst to them, a VIP is at the center of this stir. The man in charge of the group checks his watch and frowns. It's already past noon. Master, the boss should not be at the airport. He exclaims. Meanwhile, in an opulent mansion, an old man over 50 sits on a large leather sofa contemplating the events at the airport. I know. You guys come back. He still doesn't want to see me. The old man says calmly, and his loyal subordinates acknowledge his command. In another part of town, a private helicopter lands silently over a housing area. At steps Remy Stone, the sole heir of the Stone Group and the number one war god in the East, known for his power and strength. With a sturdy body and a dragon stride, Remy exudes dominance and authority. Jin Lee, you go back. From now on, I will live here in seclusion, Remy commands as he lights a cigarette and looks wistfully at the heights of harmony. Godfather, don't you want to go home and see it? It's been 10 years, and it's time to let go of the past. Jin Lee suggests. Remy's voice turns cold as he growls, that's enough. Jin Lee tremble with fear. His murderous Remy Stone is a man even the strongest fear. Ten years ago, I was driven out of the Stone family. That Remy Stone is dead. Now more than ever, if you want to mention it again, don't blame me for not remembering the old feelings. He declares, bloodthirsty and ferocious. Remy stands in front of Jin Lee, the man who once was like a father to him, and his chest tightens. Despite his ruthless success as a mafia boss, he still feels like a scared little boy in Jin Lee's presence. It was me who spoke out of turn, Jin Lee whispers, filled with regret. With a heavy heart, Remy turns to leave. I'll go now. Please don't tell anyone about my return. As he walks away, Remy feels the weight of his past bearing down on him. He finds himself on Stone Boulevard, the heart of the city of ambition. Ten years have passed since he set foot here, and the place has changed almost beyond recognition. I wonder if she's still here, he murmurs, pulling out a worn photograph of a young girl who once showed him kindness in his darkest moments. Remy recalls meeting this girl when he was a scared, lonely 15-year-old living on the streets. She brought him food, talked to him, and gave him hope when everyone else shunned him. Touched by her kindness, Remy asked for a photo to remember her by, promising to repay her someday. But fate had other plans. That same night, he was taken by a shadowy figure into a world of violence and power. By 19, he had become the feared Asura Godfather. Now, 10 years later, Remy returns, helping to find the girl who changed his life. Remy tucks the photo away and dials the phone. Jay Patel, is everything in place? He asks. Godfather, everything has been arranged. The address has been sent to your phone. Jay replies. Very good. Remy hangs up, the location lighting up his screen. Heights of Harmony, the James family, Adeline James, Kempinski Hotel. In a private room at the Kempinski Hotel, several celebrities gather, carefully concealing their identities. Old Grandpa Lee sits at the head of the table, stroking a jade ring. William James, today is a big day. Is there anyone your granddaughter favors for a son-in-law, he asks. William James, who spent 20 years building his business, replies, We have a few candidates. I wonder if Maxwell Black has any recommendations. Grandpa Lee couldn't pass the business to a granddaughter due to old patriarchal thinking. With David's encouragement, they considered recruiting a son-in-law to secure succession. Presents a stunning card. The Chief's case I do have a promising he candidate here, he announces. Next door, Adeline James sits on a couch, tears streaming down her face. Her mother, Susan James, looks at her daughter angrily. Daniel James, are you just going to watch your daughter being sold off? She demands. 
Daniel James, shamed and angry, knows his grandfather's temper. He is Adeline's grandfather. I trust that he won't harm her, Susan. Don't make him wait too long, he says. Adeline interjects, Dad, Mom, please don't argue. I know Grandpa won't harm me. Despite her strong facade, Adeline's pain is evident. Daniel clenches his fists in anger and self-blame. Let's go. If we don't go, Grandpa will be angry, Adeline says, wiping away her tears. Adeline knows her father's difficulties and her second uncle's intentions. She had brought considerable profits to the James family, making Uncle a feel increasingly threatened. He feared she would steal Jacob James's inheritance rights. If not for her daughter, Adeline would be the heir to the James family. Her father had no choice but to obey his grandfather and please his brother's son, Jacob James. The wines of change were brewing in the James family. Now, let's dive into some interesting statistics and facts about the genre and this gripping story. Stat 1. According to a recent survey, 72% of readers of Mafia romance strong, dominant male lead novels and prefer complex stories emotional with backgrounds. Stat 2 to 65% of readers in this genre report that they enjoy narratives that involve long-lost connections and the rekindling of past relationships. Rummy's return to the city of ambition was like a storm brewing on a clear day, unpredictable and powerful, threatening to change the landscape of his world forever. Before we wrap up, let's address some frequently asked questions about my poor husband, is a billionaire mafia, Q1. Who is Remy Stone and what is his background, A1. Remy Stone is the sole heir of the Stone Group and a feared mafia leader known as the Esura Godfather. Driven out of his family 10 years ago, he returns to his city with a new identity and a mission to confront his past and find the girl who once showed him kindness, Q2. Why does Remy Stone choose to live in seclusion? A 2. Remy chooses to live in seclusion to reflect on his past and avoid his former life of violence. Despite his immense power and influence, he seeks peace and a chance to connect with the simpler aspects of life, Q3. What is the significance of the Heights of Harmony, A3? The Heights of Harmony is a symbolic location representing both a physical place and a metaphorical state of peace that Remy seeks. It is also where Adeline James, the girl from his past, resides, making it a pivotal point in his journey. Q4. How does Adeline James factor into Remy's story, A4? Adeline James is the girl who showed Remy kindness during his most vulnerable years. Her presence in his past and her current circumstances drive Remy to return and find her, helping to repay her and possibly find redemption for himself. That's all for today's episode of Mafia Tales, The Billionaire Chronicles. Thank you for joining us as we explore the captivating story of Remy Stone and my poor husband is a billionaire mafia. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this podcast if you enjoyed it. Until next time, stay intrigued.